Hello everyone, it's JC here with another video for you. Today it's a beautiful day, I am off and I decided to do something with my hair. Something that I've been trying to do for quite a while but I wasn't sure it was going to work. But then again, we only know if we try it. So as you guys know, I am letting my hair grow out naturally and it is a gray, of course, and I'm very excited about it. I'm still enjoying the whole process. Uh, I have purchased some shampoos to go along with that. And we all know that purple shampoos is one of the favorite types of shampoos when you have a gray hair. So um, I already showed you in the other video some shampoos that I have. But one of these days I was going through my storage cabinet and I found out that I also had another shampoo just hiding there in the corner and it's called BioSilk Color Therapy. That's the one. As you can see, uh, this is also designed for, uh, it says blonde hair. What does it say? Cool blonde shampoo. It's supposed to be for blonde hair, but we also know that uh, purple shampoo is very good for white hair. I think I got this from a friend of mine when I was still uh, dyeing my hair blonde, which was like a million years ago. And after I stopped dyeing blonde and went back to my natural color that up until now was a kind of dark brown. Instead of throwing this away, I just uh, left in my storage cabinet. And one of these days I was just going through it and I found it. So you know what, it's almost full. And I decided today uh, to do this test of the uh, purple shampoo. A lot of people on the internet, uh, especially those ladies that are going through the uh, gray hair transition, some of them are also actually toning their hair uh, by using a purple shampoo on dry hair, which is something that I never tried, even though I was curious to know if it worked, because my hair, as you can see, it's still uh, not so uh, blonde, I mean, uh, so uh, gray. I do have my gray hair here. It's going now for, I think, four and a half months. So it's gonna take a long time until, I don't know how this is actually grow, going to grow, grow. But as you can see, this is the color that I have from the dye uh, back to my natural color. So it's kind of reddish, very weird. I don't actually like this color. But I mean, there's nothing I can do other than cut it shorter. And as you see, as you can see, I already cut my hair uh, much shorter than it was. So today I decided to go and do this test. So I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to uh, see it together. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, to apply this purple shampoo on dry hair and let it sit for, I don't know, let's do 20 minutes. After that, I'm going to rinse my hair thoroughly. And after that, I am going to apply this mask by Andralon, and Andralon Silver Care. This one I found uh, on a, uh, in a local store. Uh, it smells very good and it's also uh, purple. So it's also designed for uh, white hair, gray hair or blonde, I guess. So I decided to buy it, it wasn't too expensive. It smells very nice and I am going to apply this after I rinse the shampoo. I'm going to apply this and let it sit for another 20 minutes and after that I am going to rinse and see what happens. So are you ready? Let's do it together. So here we are in my bathroom. I hope it's not too echoey. Um, here is the shampoo. I have no idea how I'm going to do this because I've never done anything like that before. But I know that it's not going to damage my hair because it's just a shampoo and a mask. So I don't think it's going to do any damage to my hair. I do hope to get maybe some a nice color, but you know what? There's only one way to know if it's going to work. And if it doesn't work, at least I will be hydrating my hair. So let's start. How I am I going? I don't think I'm gonna wear any gloves because I don't think I need to. So here it is. Oh, first of all, I am going to try to comb my hair a little bit. So let's do it.
Okay, so as you can see, I put on a cap, a aluminum cap, and I'm gonna leave this now for 20 minutes, and after that, I'm going to rinse it and apply the mask. As you can see, it didn't stain really my hands, you know, so I think it's fine. So now let's sit and wait. So now we're going to set the timer and wait. Hey Siri, set timer for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes and counting. Ooh. About to leave, already packing. Ooh, the timer is over. So now we're going to rinse my hair and then apply the mask. Let's do it. So the hair has been rinsed and now we're going to apply the mask. So let's do it. Okay, I still don't see anything because it's also wet. So now let's apply this mask and see how it works. I'm going to apply it with a spoon because I heard that it's not very good for you to put your hands in the pot. I don't know why, don't ask me why, but so I'm going to use a spoon. Let's do it. Here we go. Ooh, that's quite a generous amount. So let's try. As you can see, I have very little hair, so not much. It almost disappears in my head when it's wet. Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche. Okay, the mask does not stain at the hands, as you can see. At least if it doesn't work, my hair will be hydrated. So back with the cap and let's sit for another 20 minutes. Hey Siri, set timer for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes and counting. I love Siri. So 20 minutes later, I rinsed my hair from the mask and now I'm going to let it dry naturally because I do not blow dry my hair. So that means we're gonna have to wait another one or two hours until my hair is uh, nice and dry so we can see the final results. So I'll see you there. So guys, here I am with my hair already dry. Well almost dry. Uh, I decided to blow dry it a very slightly because it was taking a little bit too long and I wanted to finish this video today. So this is what it looks like as you can see. Nothing special. I mean I don't see much difference from what it was before uh, the shampoo and the uh, mask. Uh, obviously it is hydrated so it's very soft and I love that. Uh, however, as for the colors, as you guys can see, I don't see any difference. The white is still there. This is how it looks. The white part, the gray part. But um, this ones, this part here that I was expecting to get a little bit of color. It still seems to me like the same. I'm not really disappointed because, as I explained before, the uh, purple shampoo will tone the hair when it's already a white or maybe very light blonde. But in my case, because my, my hair is still a little bit dark, so the color doesn't stick. So that means that you can uh, use the blue shampoo. It will actually make the, uh, the white a little brighter, but your natural color, like this one, will basically stay the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved doing this test. My hair is hydrated and now let's move on. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a fabulous day. Bye.